Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the new fragrance from Creed, Queen of Silk. I got a package in the mail from Creed the other day and I tried to film an unboxing on camera for you guys. Did the whole thing, got the package ready, smelled it for the first time and the moment after I smelled the fragrance, my microphone died. So I literally lost all of the audio. We're trying to rise from the ashes here and just film my review of the fragrance. So I've had a little bit of time to wear it, to spend time with it and just get to know the scent a little bit better. And I was really excited about Queen of Silk because Carmina was just such a hit for me. It's a fragrance that I wear all the time and that I am very impressed by. So Creed describes this fragrance as embodying opulent luster and ethereal softness of silk. You definitely get a lot of velvety facets with this scent. We have notes of osmanthus, saffron, magnolia, with tuberose and a passion fruit note, with cedarwood, patchouli, agarwood and a soft Madagascan vanilla, and in the base a little bit of ambroxin, musk, incense, and myrrh. So when this opens, you initially get this blast of osmanthus, which I really love. It kind of gives it this peachy fruitiness. Honestly, it has some sheeper vibes too. My first impression of it is that it's very different smelling, very powdery, very floral. It kind of dives down from that osmanthus into this magnolia to iris. Very silky, very smooth, and very fruity, especially with that passion fruit. And it's kind of crazy to say, but it reminds me of something in the realm like a super, super feminized version of Tony Iommi because there is some hints of darkness in this and the hints of darkness come out even more as it dries. It's nowhere near as crazy, like rock and roll rough as Tony Iommi, but it's just something about the patchouli, the passion fruit, the flowers, and just that kind of oody backbone that reminds me of Tony Iommi, but super, super feminized. It's very velvety, very feminine, very delicate, very muted spicy but it's there but it's not going to be like super loud along with that oud it's there it's in the background it's muted it's not going to take center stage kind of adds this little touch of personality to the scent and something a little unexpected as well kind of a little aldehydic in a way something about the way the florals are done and something tropical feeling about this too because of that magnolia the passion fruit the osmanthus like it makes you picture some tropical exotic location it makes you feel like you're in Hawaii on the beach and there's something also very calming about that as well and with that Madagascan vanilla just a lot of tropical vibes in this and it's very complex in a way the tuberose in this feels very modern it does not feel like a grandma stuffy old vintage scent it's a very nice modern tuberose which i love by the way and the patchouli in this as well it's not overly gothic not overly earthy it just kind of adds this touch of a green spice it's so vibrant with these fruity accords i really feel like creed is trying to create and release more complex artistic types of scents versus that very classic fougere like clean kind of powdery floral sense that they're really known for. I really like this new direction that Creed is going in. Very impressive perfumery and I said that with the release of Carmina and I think that it's been true so far. We've had Carmina, we've had Absolute Aventus which is just like a super cool modernized sexy version of Aventus. Queen of Silk is no exception. They are going in a more complex modern direction. It's going to be almost like reinventing the brand in a way. It's going to be very appealing to a lot of people. It smells very smooth, very velvety, very rich and high class. It still has that element about Creed in here, that very luxurious high-end feel that all, basically all Creed fragrances have in my opinion. There's just something very compelling about this and it is very unique for a floral scent. It might be a little polarizing because of that, because it is so different, unique, and modern. It's the people that really love traditional floral sheeper types of scents might not get along with it But I definitely would recommend trying it out. My first few wears of this were beautiful I got a very strong projection with this for the first three to four hours And I would say overall about six hours of a very strong good wear There's just something that I love about this so tropical and exotic But done in a very new way very very unique. I just I can't get over it definitely has polarizing reviews as well I think it 
could have something to do with the tuberose. I think that some people either really love tuberose or they, it gets under their skin a little, they don't appreciate it. Um, me personally, I am a big fan of tuberose when it's done in, a, in the right way, in the way that I really enjoy. Not that there's really a wrong or right way, but just in the way that I personally am drawn to. You just need to test it out for yourself. You can try this at any Creed boutique near you. You can find it at places like Neiman Marcus, department stores like that. You can also order samples online if you want to try a full sample. I think that this is definitely the type of scent that needs to go on your skin. And it's also the type of scent that you will grow to understand, you will grow to appreciate. It might take a couple wears before this fragrance really grows on you. Or you might be like me and just think that it is a total stunner the moment that you smell it. I really love this scent. I love the bottle as well. I wish I could show how beautiful the bottle is. There's something about this light that does not like to show the true color of a fragrance, but it's a really royal type of purple color. It's not as dark as it looks on the camera, I promise. I just can't get enough of this powdery osmanthus with this very sensual, exotic edge. Very innovative of Creed, in my opinion. You just need to test it out in a store near you. And once again, I'm just loving this new direction of Creed, and I am very excited excited to see what comes next. So guys, that is my review of the new fragrance from Creed, Queen of Silk. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below if this is a release that you have tried or if you're interested in trying it. What do you think about the fragrance? I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.